so you're getting two videos from me today the reason why you're getting this one is because you probably didn't get my other one in your notifications feeds and let me explain why so if you haven't seen my other video I recorded today it's probably because it was restricted why was it restricted because I weighed myself in the video not even joking I weighed myself I had lost a total of 16 pounds since Saturday Shh, don't tell anybody this will get restricted too and it wasn't because I took my shirt off and showed you guys my belly no 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 because I received an email that said that my video and it said you know the video I posted today had been age restricted and the reasons why is because I weighed myself in the video which is considered fat phobic and they don't want people under 18 to view that content I'm like well for starters I specifically said this content was not made for children it was made for adults I'm cataloging my water fasting weight loss journey so I think it's kind of BS that they openly restricted that video from today um, basically I was going so I'm just going to talk about the symptoms I had here and I'm not going to weigh myself in this video uh, if you want to see the other video you have to click on my channel and literally look for it it's the only way you're going to see it now so um, so this will just be a quick update so what happened on day three basically I had two spikes of hunger pains they lasted for about three to five minutes each besides that perfectly fine they didn't even go up that high they were about a quarter of what my normal hunger levels get to my energy levels were better the achiness in my body went away although I did have a pain when I breathed in all the way and it was located right here um, but a uh, quick update on that it's pain has gone away since then turns out it was a buildup of gas the last thing I'd eaten on Saturday was a bunch of broccoli and so apparently I had been gassy and since my intestines aren't working as quickly as they normally do because I'm fasting the gas is built up so I can breathe in all the way just fine and have no pain now it's, it was gas so I was my last video was age restricted because I weighed myself because it's considered fat phobic which excuse me if you have a problem if you're fat and you want to be fat fine do it that's your prerogative but you shouldn't silence people who are trying to lose weight and promote a healthy lifestyle and here's the thing I know you're gonna hear yeah but you don't have to be thin to have a healthy lifestyle really let me let me see here what are some contributing factors to increase your chance likelihood of death with COVID-19 um obesity oh my god so you're telling me that I have a better chance of dying from the from the cough cough if I'm obese so you're saying it does affect my immune system so you're saying it's not the ultimate form of of health argue against that logic okay the CDC themselves Joe Biden and Trump and everybody else the regardless of which side of the field you're on agrees if you're fat you have a lot of chance of dying from the cough cough significantly higher um, which is all the evidence you need to prove being fat is unhealthy uh, you know the thing is is I, the why am I doing this why am I going on this fast the reason being is because my blood pressure is high for one um, I went to the doctors a couple weeks ago and it was 150 over 93 that's pretty high honestly so what am I doing and then also I'm on the verge of becoming pre-diabetic the doctors like take some you know like my blood sugar insulin level is a was above 140 constantly 
I would check that constantly because a lot of people will fall into diabetes and not realize it and die from a diabetic coma. That's a real fear I have. It may not be justified. So I do have a blood sugar meter. And as I, after I got up above 130, I noticed that my blood sugar level was always above 140. So I was concerned about that. And um, so I was looking into it and, you know, they have, you know, pre-diabetic medications you can take that will increase insulin production. But why do you need that? Because your insulin, your sensitivity to insulin, you know, has gone down. You need more of it to act like normal insulin would. So what doctors are doing is treating the symptom and not the disease. Why? because they've gotten used to the fact that people don't want to change their lifestyles. They'd rather eat themselves to death and put a band-aid over it in hopes that it'll keep them alive long enough to have a fulfilling life. Really? That's what you're going to put your life on? And did you know that 60% of high blood pressure, and um, this comes, oh gosh, what is it? The... Um, who who world health organization the brain fog is still kind of there but the world health organization released information in 2019 that 60 percent of blood pressure related illnesses is a direct correlation with obesity um, along with strokes heart disease diabetes uh, and a uh, higher risk of cancer so I mean, the science is there, man. If you're fat, you're going to die sooner. Just the truth. And I'm not saying this to make you mad. I'm not saying this to make you upset. I'm saying it because I needed a wake-up call for myself. And getting to the point where... I was potentially going to need to be on diabetic medication and blood pressure medication was a turning point. My blood pressure now... After being on the water fast since Saturday, uh, I did it this, uh, well, not this morning, but I did it today. It's no longer this morning. And it was, uh, what was it, 135 over 84. Going down. Going down. So, I just, I'm no longer going to be eating salts, oils, and sugars, ever if it's not if it's not naturally in the food I'm never gonna eat it I'm only gonna naturally have those things and if that can't be obtained naturally then my body doesn't need it okay there's a correlation with obesity in America whenever we switched over to a carb based processed food diet there's a specific correlation so 0.6 and for those who don't know what correlations are a one is a perfect correlation a zero is no correlation and a negative 0.1 all the way to negative one is a negative correlation which means when one goes up one goes down for the negative positive means when one goes up the other goes up so as 0.6 means that 60 percent of the reason there's a 60 percent correlation with obesity and the carb-based processed food diet 60 percent that's huge. That is well within the means to say, yep, there is a causal factor here. And um, that's just the truth. I'm sorry. Whenever I do break this fast, I'm going to break it with vegetable um, broth that's been thinned down with water. I'm going to... Um, I'm only going to be eating... I'm going to go vegan after this. No more... Because here's the thing, I've been so close to vegan the last few years. I've been vegetarian for over 10. The only thing preventing me from actually being a vegan is really cheese and milk. I can, I can, you know, I can get rid of eggs just fine. It'd be a perfectly cool with it. 100%. But this fast, I've broken my addiction to cheese. I no longer crave it. I've broken my addiction to milk. No longer crave it. You know, I want 
to be eating fresh vegetables as much as possible and when I can't steam it and I want to be eating nuts you know and uh, preferably almonds and macadamians I like those a lot for my oils and some proteins and pound by pound broccoli has more protein than steak so it's easy to get your protein regimen from a, a plant-based vegan diet uh, it takes your body a little longer to process it and break it down but it's within the plant sodium spinach naturally high in sodium there's vegetables that are naturally high in sodium and so I can get my salt intake that way I know what people are gonna say yeah but salt is good you need salt you know what salt is it's a preservative the whole reason we started using it to begin with was to prevent meat from decaying and dying okay it's that's the whole purpose of salt to begin with and now we just use it as a food enhancement and people get addicted to the flavor of salts but here's the thing I haven't if you don't eat salt for like months at a time and then you go back to eating food with it it tastes horrible it genuinely does not taste good why is that <laughs> because we naturally put too much crap in our food and we're so used to these high sugar levels, high salt levels, high oil levels, that we assume that it's normal. But it's not. It's all processed to junk. If you want to get back to normal, then um, eat normal foods that's been around for hundreds of years, okay? Um, also, I'll be eating some beans. I, I don't buy, I don't like beans in a can, honestly. I prefer my beans dried and I soak them in water and then put them in the slow cooker overnight because man one zero salt two tastes so dang good and three good for you I mean buying the only reason anyone should ever buy beans in a can is if they're they're making a dish that calls for it that day and they haven't prepped but if you're going to be if you're prepping your meals, you know when you need to soak beans. And it's not that big of a process. You don't need a slow cooker. You could do it on the stove. Just soak the beans overnight, put them in a pot, and then put them on low. And then just come back every 30 minutes to an hour and stir until they're done. Legitimately. It's as easy as that. You can do it. I can do it. Anyone can do it. So. Um... Yeah, sorry about two videos in one day, but I kind of got aggravated when I got age restricted for literally weighing myself in a video because it's considered fat phobic. I am really upset with YouTube for that. <laughs> I mean, I get it. You don't want people to feel bad about themselves. But also, if you can't have an open dialogue, how are people supposed to know what they're doing is bad for them? You know, I mean, I don't want to live in a world where we accept that morbid obesity is a healthy lifestyle because it's not it's really really not you know the science just sh it shows it now should you be angry and mad at people who are obese no <clears throat> if they choose to live that way that is totally their call and you shouldn't judge them for it but meanwhile you shouldn't be judged for expressing your opinions and especially your journey of weight loss you know there is literally a button that says did you make this for children no I said no this is not intended for children and yet it was age restricted specifically to prevent children from seeing it because it's fat phobic tell me how that makes sense to you <clears throat> makes no sense to me anyways I'm sorry this video has gone on too long but um so I'm in the middle of day four I'll be posting my next video tomorrow morning uh, hope it won't get age restricted because I'm not going to be weighing myself in every video I'm going to be doing weigh-in videos separate from my daily update videos so that that way my daily update videos won't to get restricted again uh, if they so yeah, so if you didn't see my day three video, go to click on my channel, scroll around and get back to it. Um, if you're under 18, sorry, can't see it. I can't change it from un or from being restricted. YouTube 
did it. I have no control over that. But I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm feeling great, by the way. I'm definitely over the hump. You know what? Tomorrow... We'll see what goes on. Sorry for such a long video. I need to cut this off. May your chains be broken and follow your passions. Don't let anybody tell you to stop your passions and dreams. Don't let anybody stand in your way. Do it. Seriously, fucking do it. Follow your passions. The only person stopping you from being the best version of you can be is you. Let go of the fear. Let go of the doubt. And take a damn risk in life, okay? Seriously, jump into the unknown. Look into the abyss and jump in. That's what makes you a human. That's what makes you strong. May your chains be broken, my friends.